So hey guys, how are you all doing? We're back yet with another video on the topic, let's be real. Today we'll be talking about fake natties, which is a huge topic nowadays. Uh, TikTok and every social media is full of these people claiming to be natural, but they're, they're clearly not. Unfortunately, a lot of people, like 90% of their audience, thinks they're natural and they think they'll be also able to achieve this, this kind of good like physique. So, uh, for those who are not that, uh, that strong with, with this type of topic, here are a few examples. Uh, how to spot a fake natty. Uh, basically, there are three types. Hard to spot, normal to spot and pretty easy to spot. For example, a hard to spot could be uh, David Late, which uh, is a guy from a Gymshark, and uh, for many years people thought he is a natural, and eventually he uh, came out uh, himself talking about that he's not, and uh, which which kind of enhancing drugs he was using. He was pretty smart. He was hiding it pre hiding it pretty well, so no one ever noticed that something's wrong. But uh, yeah, eventually if you look at him, uh, he's uh, too big and too proportional with a low uh, body fat. And for his age, uh, when he was like 16 years old, he was al already looking huge, huge shoulders, veins all around his body. Yeah, the, that's uh, no, nowhere, no, no, no near to, to realistic. Uh, as a normal, I would put now big name Sam Sulek, which is a young, young guy. And he started using drugs a few, few months Months, few months back, maybe a few, few years. I'm not watching his this long, but you can spot it pretty easily uh, if if you compare uh, his videos back then and now. You, you can see the huge, huge growth of his muscles. You can also see uh, acne building on his face and on his back. And uh, yeah, he gained a lot of kilograms of a pure muscle mass uh, while he was losing fat. So that's that's uh, most of the time the, the biggest uh, red flags that somebody is abusing enhancing drugs. And for an easy example, I would put uh, Ronnie Coleman, many times winner of uh, Olympia, the, the biggest the biggest award out there. And yeah, he's he's top of the top and uh, you can you can spot these people pretty easily. They are huge, they are veiny, they are massive and uh, yeah, they also got like uh, uh, 30, 30 enhancing drugs in their bloodstream. So yeah, you just look at them and you already know what's going on. Okay, so once again, for those who don't know how to spot them and they're uh, arguing at the comment section and they are defending their favorite influencers trying to trying to persuade everybody else that they are natural while they are not. How you can spot them? Uh, the most easy hints, too much veins. I'm not talking about uh, young guys. They may be doing some sports. Uh, they got genetically lower uh, body fat. Uh, that goes with me if I have a pump my, my veins are all around my body but there's a slight difference between those natural veins and those veins uh, which are start to pop up after you take something take some gear mostly is those huge veins on the shoulders and maybe uh, on, on, the, on the biceps and on the, on the parts of, uh, of a body where there are not supposed to be too much veins on your muscles. Also the acne on your back, there'll be a huge acne. It's also uh, genetically given, so somebody who is abusing those enhancing drugs are clean as a, as a baby and some, some unfortunate souls will have a huge acne on their face, on their back, on their shoulders. It's pretty painful and hard to deal with. There's always a thin line before you can spot someone on gear. For me, that's the reason why I'm talking about it and I'm giving you my knowledge and experience. It's cause I've been working out for, for almost eight years, of course not in a row, and I've been working in a, in a fitness for four years and I can tell pretty much just by looking at, at a person if they're on something or not the thin line is meant by the the, the muscle mass the, the the growth and the overall shape of, of the of the person if you work out you know that muscles are pretty hard to build up and even harder to to have them during the, the long periods of time you have to be working out you have to have a strict diet or at least you need to have a, have a uh, the good the building stones, the main stones of your diet. And uh, yeah, you, you may be taking some supplements, but you know, it's pretty hard to stay consistent in it. And if you see someone with uh, two big shoulders, like they're really big compared to other parts of his body or his abs are popping out or his quads are huge, his calves are huge, of course, calf problem, but uh, you, can, you can spot it pretty clearly. If you take two guys, 18 to 20 years old, one, 
uh, is not on gear and the second is, you, you will be able to spot a difference. There will be difference in the in the size, in the muscle mass, in the in the veins. You can spot it pretty pretty easily after a long long experience and long researching and looking on on those types of people. The problem with the fake natties is that they are representing themselves as their pure clean naturals. They are defending it with their body and their soul, and they would never never ever say they took something in their whole life. That's a big problem because 99% uh, of these fitness influencers are actually on a gear, but they pretend they're not. So, you know, those young and naive young people will take them as examples, as, as their heroes. And they will try to they will try to copy their uh, routine, their workouts, their habits but they will be never able to achieve this kind of physique, which is, uh, I, I think, in my opinion, it, that's bad because uh, you're basically building your audience on a lie and you're pretending to be someone you're not. Yeah, I think if I've ever taken gear or any enhancing drugs, I would be pretty much open with it. But I know, of course, they're trying to pretend they never even heard about this Thing because it's illegal and uh, you pretty much you can get these enhancing drugs without doing something shady so yeah they're they're uh, pretty strict about talking about it because it can be turned against themselves and as the last topic of this video why is it bad first of all as I said before 99% of those people are on gear they tried it or at least they know a lot of things about it and they can uh, get it on their hands pretty easily. You would be pretty surprised how many people can get their hands on these enhancing drugs. Me, during my experience at the fitness, every every second person knew somebody who, who got these enhancing drugs and you basically just could ask them and they'll be like, yeah, give me, give me, I don't know, $500 and I will and I will build a build a gear routine for you. Yeah, it's not worth it, guys. Especially, like a god, genetically given, uh, you will have uh, problems with your livers, with your heart. Anything can go wrong in your body, so please stay natural. Take natural supplements. I'll be making a video about it soon. And also stay safe. Don't try to be like uh, like your your hero. Like, you, you, you can have someone to look up to, that's always good, have something to, to work on, but always compare yourself to yourself, never to somebody else, because you'll be never, never satisfied with your results, you will fall into a depression, you'll start, you, you will start stagnating, and uh, it will be hard to build any muscles at all. Maybe if you're interested in this kind of topic, I can make my own routine, because I'm a young, young person, I'm working out like everybody else and I can see results pretty well. So maybe type into the comment section below if you're interested in this kind of topic. I hope you enjoyed this video and see you in the next one. Stay safe. Cheers.